This is an instructional video on the use of Display Builder version 2 from Vendors Exchange. If you're looking for instructions on the first version of Display Builder, please follow the link located beneath this video or click here. This video is best viewed in full screen. There are eight steps to the Display Builder process. They are creating inventory lists, setting up the planogram, creating category screens, creating a category page and downloading buttons, creating a home page, adding navigation buttons, creating a slideshow, and the export process. At the end of the video, there is an additional section on how to import image files if you choose to create your screens in an outside program. These steps have been labeled for your convenience within this video. If you click on any of the above steps, you'll be taken to that portion of the video. Creating inventory lists. To begin, open Display Builder. Enter your username and password. After Display Builders is done loading, it will automatically open the screen to create an inventory list. This is where you will pick all the products that you could possibly carry in your machines. To find a product, start by selecting the manufacturer, brand, and then the product. You will then click Add to List to place the product into your inventory list. Each account has three lists available, and each list can hold its own selection of products. You can set each list for a different vending location. For example, you could put vending products in the first list for a college location, and put vending products in the second list for a grade school. Keep in mind that only the items in the list will be available for access when choosing what products will be on the mind. If a product is unavailable, please contact the mind department of Vendors Exchange and the products will be made available to the database. Save your list when you're done adding products and click the X in the corner of the window to close the inventory window. Setting up the planogram. To create your new display set, click on My Display Sets and then Create a New Display Set. Enter a name for your display set. Be sure to choose the correct orientation and size for your mind. The size orientation you choose should be carried out through the setup process or errors will occur. On the right, check the Mind version 2.0 box. When you do an additional box will pop up, prompting you to choose an inventory list number. This is where you will choose the products that you would like to have available on your Mind screen. Click on an empty box and find the desired product. Again, you will search by manufacturer, brand, then product. If you will always have the same products in a planogram structure, you may choose a machine on the left-hand side. However, most people opt to use custom keys. Custom keys allow you to add more products than actually allotted in the machines and will allow less upkeep with products changing locations or whether or not a product is available at any particular time. Using custom keys, you will need to create a selection number. This can be any letter or number combination as long as it is unique. So you may want to start with a 10 or A1 and continue in sequence. Repeat the process for each product. Creating category screens. After you've chosen all the products you'd like to see on your mind, you will create category screens. To do this, go to the top row of tabs and click on category screens, then new category screen. When the new window pops up, click on create new title image, then go to file, new template, and select the appropriate size for your image. This size must match the display set size you chose at the beginning. Select the text option on the left hand side of the screen. Enter the name of your category. When the screen is set up, go to File, Send to My Images. You will then be prompted to save as an MDT file, which is an editable file. We recommend that you create a new folder for your category screens. Repeat these steps for each of the categories you need.
When you're done, close the custom screen editor page. This will take you back to the custom page screen. Enter the name of your page and click OK. Then check the appropriate attributes box for your screen. Do this for all of your category screens. Creating a category page and downloading buttons. Now you want to make the categories screen. Ventures Exchange has provided multiple sets of buttons for the screen. Go to nutritionaldatabase.org and scroll down to click on Downloads. Click on one of the Buttons for Custom Screen Editor files to begin the download. Save the file to an easily accessible location such as the desktop. Unzip the file. In Display Builder, go to My Images, Custom Screen Editor, then File, New Template. Use the text tool on the left side to type categories at the top of the screen and position the text accordingly. Before you begin typing, you can choose the size of the font by dragging the cursor to the desired size. To load the buttons, click on Load Images. Find the button set you want to use and select one of the buttons. On the category screen, press and hold down on your mouse. The selected button will appear beneath your cursor and will change sizes as you drag your mouse. Do this for each of the categories and include a button for the home page. When you're done creating the buttons, you can adjust their size and position as needed. Save to My Images when the screen is complete. Creating a home page. To create the home page, go to My Images, Custom Screen Editor, then File, New Template. This page will be your home screen. Use the text tool to enter your home page text. It can be anything from a greeting to the name of your company. On this page, you will want to include a box and the text, Touch Here to Begin. This will become a button that takes users onto the category screens. Save your home screen when you finish. Keep in mind that you can use an outside program, such as Photoshop, to create your home page. We will provide more details on how to import such a file to Display Builder later in the video. Go back to the custom page screen in the display set editor. Click on add custom page and find the category screen you created earlier. Then go to the home page tab, click on change image and select the home page you created. Adding navigation buttons. When your pages are loaded you will make navigation buttons. In the home page tab click on add a navigation button. A small red box will appear. Drag this box to the button you made that says Touch Here to Begin and resize it to fit over the box. Make this button translucent, an option in the upper right corner. Right click on the button and select Set Destination. This will bring up a box with your destination options. Select the category screen under Custom Pages and hit OK. Save your changes. You will also need to create navigation buttons for your category screen. These buttons should correlate with the appropriate category screen, which are located on the right side of the screen, and should also be translucent. Okay. 
To set the destination for the home page button, check the box that says go to home page at the top of the set destination page. Remember to save. Under the keypad tab, pick the style you want and select save keypad style. Creating a slideshow. To create and edit the slideshow, go to My Images, Slide Image Editor, File, New Template, and set the size. Then go to Format, Set Background Picture. You may use any of your own images for these backgrounds and import them via My Images. These files must be JPEGs to be imported into Display Builder. When you found the appropriate file, click Open and save it. Create a new folder for your slideshow. As you save the slides, label them in numerical order. When you're done, you can close the window. Then go to My Displays, Manage Slideshows, Create Slideshow, Name it, Size it, Save and Exit. Go back to Display Editor. Under the Media and Options tab, click on Edit Slideshow, then Add Slide. Add the slides you just created. Adjust the number of seconds to show slide at the top of the page. You will need to do this for each of your slides. On this page, you can switch the order of the slides by clicking on the slide and then hitting move up or move down. When you're done, save the changes and exit. Highlight the correct slideshow and click select slideshow. The export process. At this point, you should be done editing your display set and will need to create a runtime file to put into your machine. To do this, go to My Display Set, Create Runtime File. Choose your planogram and mine set, then click Export This Display Set. When the export is done, you will need to load the file onto a 2 GB micro SD card. Safely remove the SD card from your computer and insert it into your mind. Make sure the mind is turned on. When the micro SD card is inserted into the board, it will automatically launch and a loading screen will appear. Loading time will vary depending on the complexity of the file and the amount of products that you've selected. Once this is complete, your mind will be ready to go. At this point, you have completed your update successfully and you may remove your micro SD card. Importing your own files. If you wish to create your own screens in another program, such as Photoshop, you may do so. There are two ways to import these files. In this example, we are using a custom home screen, but these steps may be taken for any image you wish to use. The first way is through your Display Set Editor. 
Once the page is open, go to the Home Page tab and click on Change Image. In the new window, select Open Image Editor. This will take you to the Custom Screen Editor. Go to File, New Template, and choose the correct orientation and size. Then go to Format, Background, Set Background Picture. Search your computer for the correct home page image. When the image is loaded, go to File, Send to My Images, and name your home screen. At this point, you will add the navigation button as previously detailed. The second way to import your own file is to go to My Images, Manage My Images, then click on the Add New Image button. Find the desired image and exit the screen, then go to your Display Set Editor. Under the Home Page tab, click on Change Image and select the home page you just imported. Add the navigation button and you're set. Please keep in mind that any image you import into Display Builder must be a JPEG. Display Builder will not shrink or enlarge an item to fit the screen, so remember the size of the mind when you're creating the image in another program. If you have any additional questions, please call our mind department at Vendors Exchange at 1-800-321-2311.